Consider this an exploration. A cultural experiment. An ethnographic experience. Hypothesis? We are. Have been. And always will be. Searching, searching for, for meaning, meaning in our roots. roots. What it means to be Filipino. Or Filipino-American. Or American. Part one. Discovery. So, so tell, tell me what, what it means, means to you. you. So I just got back from a semester abroad in Australia, followed by a trip to the Philippines. I was completely the American boy down under. Yet when I got to the motherland, I had a whole different study abroad experience. I realized with my shorts and tank tops and comparatively loud voice that I stuck out among the Filipino Filipinos, leading them to say to one another, Oh, she's American. Because I was outgoing and spoke English and apparently laughed too much. <laughs> I immediately found myself to be a rare commodity, a Filipino American. <clears throat> We, we carried, carried ourselves in completely different, different ways. ways. A different walk. A different talk. A different outlook on life. I came from the coveted land of the free and the home of the brave and realized I was in the home of the slave. The, the Philippines. Philippines. Slave to American capitalism and consumerism. White skin radiance. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> I had conversations with my family about acting more Filipino, Filipino and less American. American. Could you be more ladylike? Try speaking softer. Dress more conservatively and show more cultural, cultural sensitivity. sensitivity. Beyond the gel tips of my hair, beneath the brand name clothes, and between the irises of my brown eyes, I understood that even though I'm not from here, I, I still can wear, wear the beautifully brave, brave and brown, brown skin, skin of, of my motherland. Part two. Iron. Maybe I was too American, but everywhere I saw signs that there was this obsession with being more westernized. We had forgotten our history. My uncle said to me. Because we have decided to let that take over. And as he said that, he pointed to the McDonald's across the street. <laughs> and above that, the billboards of pretty Asian girls with pale skin advertising Bella whitening creams that claim to make you look beautiful. It's not enough to have the super long, glossy black hair. You gotta have the white skin to match. Cause Bella makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid being too American, American, but at the same time embrace this Western ideal of loveliness. Is the Philippines drowning in a bucket of American pop culture? Does this scream our desire for global recognition? Here's a case study. Celebrities. A news article reads that Manny Pacquiao, Therese Pimpenko, and Arnel Pineda are the heroes of the Philippines. Why do they represent what it means to be Filipino? Because they're not invisible? And now we idolize them for escaping the limitations of Filipino fame by truly making, making it in America. Oh, um, this one too. <clears throat> Actors Viola Pasquale, Sam Milby, and Ann Curtis are considered some of the most beautiful people in the Philippines. <gasps> Viola Pasquale is so fucking <laughs> Of course, they have a great amount of talent. But does it help that they're also part white? And being connected to this perpetual whiteness is what everyone wants? What we all desperately desire to look like? Do some people feel that being Filipino cannot be enough? Part 3. More irony. Maybe the problem is that some of us want to resist being stuck. And the way to do that is to buy into westernization and believe that you truly are better off being away from the <coughs> Some people who return to the Philippines blinded by the folly of the American dream suddenly feel they're better than their own people. And at that point, it's not about how much work and sacrifice you put in. It's about how big of a house you have. How much money you've made. And you forget the struggle you've endured to get to where you are. Because you're so proud you didn't get stuck. You, you got, got out. out. Part four. No. Now what? Does knowing where you come from mean that you have to take it with you wherever you go? Is it a bad thing if you don't? Or don't want to? I, I don't, don't have the answer. answer. The first thing that comes to mind is the check one box on standardized tests. Check one. The one box that confines you to one specific race to make it easier for the powers that be. My identity simply cannot be confined to the swipe of a pen in a small black square. Are we unsatisfied with this identity? Why can't we bask in the beauty of our brown eyes and brown skin? Some people may be so high up in the sky that they forget to come back down. But returning to your roots shouldn't be scary or undesirable or shameful. In America, we sometimes have to negotiate between which identity to put on in the morning. 
Do I wear my brown skin proudly? Do I flaunt my American pride? Wear whatever you want! But remember, you may not be in the Philippines. But, but the, the Philippines, Philippines is definitely in you. you. Our land may be poverty-stricken, polluted, and poor, but, but at, at the, the same, same time, time, we are some of the simplest and happiest people on earth. And, and we, we are, are enough. enough. Thank you. Woo!